Welcome to the Coast to Coast podcast brought to you by Play Picks and the Lines. Coming to you from the West Coast, Josh Lander, joined by my guy Nate Weitzer on the East Coast. We got an eight game Wednesday night slate here for you guys. And this one taking a look at the Miami Heat headed to Milwaukee, taking on the Bucks. Uh, some pretty good value in this one that we'll take a look at here. Nate does have his great article up on playpicks.com as well with some best bets and player props in there for you. And make sure to like and subscribe to that page and check out those other couple of videos we have up for you today. And stay on the lines.com as well, checking out that odds checker that we have, making sure that you get the best value on your money from all the odds makers uh, presenting you with bets out there. And as always, if you do still need a FanDuel or a DraftKings account, head to fdpicks.com or dkpicks.com and find those listings in your area, such as what we've got for tonight. Nate, let's get into it. Yeah, Miami is plus four and a half at Milwaukee here, open at plus five and have not moved too much. I saw it down to three and a half, but people backing the bucks here and that total holding pretty steady around 227. Uh, Seven other games to look at here tonight. Hornets are plus three and a half at the Cavs. That total at 219 now, like the over there, and might like the Hornets as well. The Pacers minus one at Magic. Knicks are plus ten and a half at the Sixers with a 224 total. We talk about betting some overs and some angles to get money on the Sixers in an episode today. Jazz minus 14 at Houston. Kings are plus six at the Pelicans with a 235 total there. And then two more huge spreads. Thunder plus 15 at Denver. Portland plus 13 at Suns. <clears throat> Look, it's the it's the Heat and Bucks. It is a rivalry, uh, knockdown, drag out game. And really, it is one of the only teams that has a way to stop Giannis. And, and that is a, a guy who happens to share the same agent as Giannis, uh, Bam Adebayo. Really one of the most versatile defenders in the NBA today um, has done a fantastic job on Giannis. That's obviously where you start when analyzing this matchup this season, hold, helping hold him to 15, eight and three with a negative 36 plus minus rating of uh, shooting 33 percent from the field. Uh, just unbelievable defense on Giannis. So, I mean, that that right away scares me off the total um, betting the over. Yeah. In any way, because uh, I mean, the Bucks are going to need Giannis to do what he does, not only just get his points, and, but to break down the defense and open things up so that they can shoot threes the way they do. They're scoring such a high percentage of their points off threes. That's really the only place Miami gives up points. Mm. They're they're number one in paint defense, uh, number one limiting free throws recently, number two limiting fast break points in their last six road games and the, and the best defensive rating in the NBA during that span. Yeah. Uh, but also I don't necessarily love just betting this spread straight up at plus four and a half because with Milwaukee, you know, I mentioned that over when it rains, it pours when Giannis starts playing downhill, when they get those open threes and the ball's humming, they can just crush teams as we saw uh, them do to the Hornets their last time out. I mean, this is obviously a much, much different animal, but I don't see Milwaukee kind of grinding out three-point wins in this situation. I mean, that that hasn't been the case lately when these teams have met. It's been just a smackdown one way or the other. True. Milwaukee only on the right side of that smackdown when Jimmy and Bam did not play. No Kyle Lowry tonight uh, will hurt the Heat a little bit, but not tremendously in this matchup since Drew Holiday would be limiting him anyway. Uh, but I, I would just look at other ways to bet on the Heat winning um, and winning, you know, at least two and a half, three and a half points. There's alternate spreads can get you by plus 200 there. If you take those alternate spreads, the guy I'm focusing on is Bam because he's so central to what they do uh, because he's been such a good rebounder lately. Uh, a double double in a win for Bam is nearly plus three hundred at FanDuel, and for him to get twenty five points in a win, plus eight eighty. Uh, you know he he scored twenty in twenty three minutes in his lone outing against Milwaukee this season. That was the second game of the season for the Bucks, I believe, and they lost one thirty seven ninety five. Yeah, in Miami, uh, the Heat, you know, sh- flexing their muscles there. They they're coming off of win where they flex their defensive muscles against the Bulls a number one offensive rating team. So that's another reason to be scared about a lot of points in this game. When Miami, when their antenna are up, they, they really can lock in defensively. They can shut people down. 
uh, and that's why I would lean under more than anything when looking at a, a high profile heat game. But really, I'm looking for Miami to give you value as a team with just just as good a chance to win this game as, as the host Bucks. I, I would agree. I mean, the only reason that I, I'm actually OK with taking a spread, uh, you know, currently sits at about four points, it's, you know, open at five. It hasn't moved too much. But um, the reason I'd be OK with that is because of uh, of Milwaukee's record at home. I mean, they're 10 and 19 against the spread when they're the home favorite, yet they're 19 and 10 straight up in those games. And obviously there's probably some pretty big spreads in there from Milwaukee. Uh, anytime they play an, another, you know, crappy Eastern conference team or what have you, they're always going to be double digit favorites. Um, and then easy to still win without, you know, score without winning by 10 in those situations. This is still at four. Um, it's enough for me that, I, I mean, I understand the, the point about, you know, uh, about this being a little bit more of a blowout, but the heat, you know, uh, th- they had a, a statement game in that opening game because they lost, they got swept in the playoffs right last year after they beat the bucks in the playoffs the previous year, which is what created this rivalry in general is, uh, the fact that you have a guy like Bam that can actually play against the Bucks, you've got Jimmy Butler who's a dog uh, and is just going to hate anybody he plays against, um, and then you've got you know the the, the Bucks on the other side, um, you know who, who definitely felt embarrassed by losing to them a couple of seasons ago and then and one last season come back. I think it's a situation. My point being that uh, Miami is in, in another spot where they need this one and they have Jam and Jimmy and Bam, and the only time that they've lost to them in, in this season and even last season when they didn't have at least one of them, um, if not both of them, missing, um, which is huge for them. Obviously, I mean, we know what Bam does. I mean, even dating back to last season for Giannis, you mentioned how bad he's been in the last two games. Uh, against Miami dating back to last season the last five games not including the playoffs obviously 16 points 8.8 boards and 5.2 assists in 30 minutes a game those splits still really bad shooting just 42 percent from the field um obviously he's still he's still barely making 50 percent of his free throws as well um which is always something that you look at for Giannis I mean he can still get to the free throw line the Heat have actually been a little bit worse uh in terms of allowing free throws in their last six uh road games that they are 5-0-1 in the against the spread in those games um they have been you know in the bottom 10 actually in, in terms of allowing their free throws uh to their opponents so you, you do think you know the the thing that they do well obviously is, is stop you from scoring down low and and if they're not going to let, uh, you know, Bam, or Bam if Bam's not going to let Giannis get into that paint and do what he does, then you've got to feel pretty good about that. The only, as far as the spread goes, I'm, I'm going to hit it. I'm just going to hit it straight up. And, that, and that's one of my favorite bets tonight. I'm totally fine with taking, you know, either that alternate spread. If you think Miami can win by about three points, um, you know, if you think they're going to win and, and you want to get that money line, it's decent enough. But if you want to get a little bit of juice on that money line, I do like uh, the alternate spread of Miami minus two and a half to get you about plus 186 there if you, if you like them to win. Um, I do, you know, at the end of the day, I just feel really good about them covering. I think that what they've been doing on the road as of late, I mean, nine and one over their last 10 in general with that, that, you know, unbelievable defensive rating. Uh, Milwaukee's been playing incredible on offense, but they're also playing with that really bad defense as of late, especially at home, 114 defensive rating in nine of their last 10 or in their last 10 games where nine of those have gone over. Um, you know, either way, I, I, the total, it does scare me a little bit more because you need Giannis in this one uh, to do Giannis things. And, and that's not going to be necessarily you know as we said the heat they are a little bit worse at that three-point defense because they're just locking you up everywhere else um you might consider you know eyeing like drew holiday he's been a lot better against the bucks uh in the last couple of seasons obviously a three-point shooter playing from the top of the key no kyle lowry definitely helps that bet as well uh for drew holiday to get his tonight um you know he's averaging about 27 and 6 uh and it's since last season against this team uh, against the heat so he's a guy who obviously comes to play and, and knows what he's doing there um but you know at, at the same time i still feel feel good about the heat with with uh bam and jimmy coming in and stopping what you know this other the other team likes to do as well as they can um nine and five against the spread when they are road dogs are the heat this season two or excuse me three of those games that were missing missing both bam and jimmy in terms of when they were the underdog on the road and, and lost that against the spread so really with those two we're talking nine and two against the spread as road favorites um i feel pretty good about them covering there the total i'd love to go over just because especially you know as road dogs um the miami heat are 10 and four to the over um on the road in general, they're 20 and 13 to the over on the season. Um, but if you do break it down a little bit more, um, we're still talking on the road, averaging their games, averaging about 219 or so, 218. Um, still doesn't get you to that 225, 226 mark that we need. Um, you know, my, Milwaukee offense, great. But at the end of the day, the, the, the safest bet for me here is take take the heat to, to cover that spread. Um, and then if you want to mix in some other ways because you really feel comfortable about them winning, go go that route. And if you if you like the total, uh, go for it. But I think it's it's set pretty well actually uh, and, and a little bit tougher to, to, to call on that one than the spread there no i'm with it i mean yeah you do look at the heat game log and when they play a contender a legit contender they almost always cover uh, boston and toronto being 
teams that have had their number and kind of provided yeah. that exception. But they're very much a team that follows the lead of Jimmy Butler uh, that that comes out and with something to prove. And this stretch is a lot. They have a lot to prove. I mean, they beat Chicago to hold on to that number one spot. Now they get Milwaukee. They get Brooklyn tomorrow night in Brooklyn. So they're gonna they're gonna let it fly here tonight because the the Nets aren't gonna have anybody tomorrow night. Then they get the red hot Sixers. So it is it is go time for Miami, and that's why I'm thinking they're kind of more in playoff mode. Um, then you know you look at them going over on the road. Uh, getting into some shootouts with San Antonio, et cetera, lately. That's just a different vibe than I think we're going to see from this team lately. I think we'll see a lot closer to what we saw against Chicago, which was holding them under 100 points, a team that averages 120, uh, and kind of limiting the Bucks in the same fashion. Maybe the total keeps rising because of uh, you know the reputation of these teams, at which point I would bet the under at 230 for sure. Um, I would consider – getting the heat up to plus eight and taking the under there too. But I, I, again, I don't think we need the the points here for Miami. I think they have just as good a chance of winning that game as the bucks. And it hinges so much on bam that that's where I would prefer to go with the player performance doubles. Um, I mean, the bucks, that's where they're hurting the most all season. No Brooke Lopez, Serge Ibaka is not necessarily in his prime still. Nice. Um, and they've been giving up a lot of pain points lately. Um, and, and Bam is a matchup problem for them. So for him to get 25 points in a win at plus 880, I just love that juice uh, because wow. Miami will need his extra scoring here without Kyle Lowry um, and, and with Jimmy kind of, you know, folk, Jimmy and PJ Tucker focusing on the defense then. And it seems that, that to be the, the case as of late for for the Heat is is Jimmy focusing on that defense as they're locking teams up uh, and, and not actually getting quite as many points. It's actually opened up the door uh, for a few of those uh, bench guys to come in. Gabe, guys like Gabe Vincent. The last game that that, that they won Miami against Milwaukee, uh, Caleb Martin went off for twenty eight. He's actually uh, questionable tonight, but I think there is uh, an opportunity for you know for the Heat another you know addition to to what they've been doing lately. Their bench has been so good. Obviously, Tyler Hero, a huge part of that, coming off and really you know dominating the second uh, unit on offense. Um, and, and, you know, Milwaukee, Milwaukee's thin right now. They traded uh, DiVincenzo, uh, right? We know Connaughton's going to be out for a while. Grayson Allen's been missing games as well. Um, still hasn't gotten back into his rhythm, uh, just averaging about eight points over his last seven or so. Um, and, you know, and then you've got, you know, obviously Drew and Chris are going to do their thing, but uh, that bench is weak. You got Bobby Porter's playing big minutes. Serge is not ready to get inserted into the lineup past about 20 minutes a game. So he's not really offering you too much right now. Um, and they're still trying to obviously rotate guys in like, DeAndre Bembry. Uh, so uh, there's a lot to, to like about Miami's bench as well in terms of why, you know, you, you feel good about them winning. Um, they've had, you know, one of the highest scoring benches in the league all season, thanks to, especially to Tyler Hero. Um, but there's a couple other guys, like I mentioned, like Gabe Vincent coming in and stepping in uh, for Kyle Lowry, leading them in scoring last game, actually, while Kyle Lowry was out uh, in that last one. So I, I think there's plenty to like here with Miami. Um, and and I'm, I'm happy to take a little bit more juice and, and at the very least hit that spread where it sits right now at about four, four and a half. So that is all the time we have for you in this one. Make sure you are liked and subscribed to that page and check out those other couple videos we have up for you today. And until we see you next, happy betting.